uh, what we have to work on now is the legislation that would allow us to um, fix people's lines without their permission. This is what we're working on now because we have a lot of renters in the city and you know we have to f go after these la find these landlords and instead of doing that we want to be able to just go on their property and, and fix the the lead service line. Um, so we're trying to get the state to legislate that. Uh, if not, we're going to try to work on something locally, but that's what we need. And you think the lawmakers will go along with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've already been talking to some of the uh, legislators already. Uh, the Essex County delegation is already on board with it, so we, we want to move it as expeditiously as possible. Any idea how many of those cases you will have to, you will have to uh, maneuver to get the job done where the landlord may not be visible, where you have to just go in without the landlord's permission? Probably a lot. I mean, Newark is 70% renters. Uh, many of the people that are coming up can't give us, who get water and filters, can't give us permission to change their lead service line. And a lot of the times, the people who own the property, they board it under an LLC, and the address of the LLC goes back to the property, so it's difficult for us to find them. Like, we can find them, but it takes time to do that. So this seems like this is the benefits of a state of emergency declaration without the governor having to declare one, and yet you're still getting the money. Absolutely. You know, I think everybody was saying we need to declare a state of emergency because they, there was some money attached to it. And that's usually what you have to do. Uh, but there's all kind of things that comes with that that, you know, people don't we don't necessarily want, uh, you know. Um, and ultimately, we have an opportunity, and that's one of the reasons I was pushing back, saying, listen, we can make this happen. There's, op there's ways for us to get this done. And, and we, we were able to do it, right? Um, and honestly, I, don't, I didn't even think if we declared a state of emergency that we would get the money. Because of the Trump administration? Uh, absolutely, uh, because of, we, we're not sure. I mean, I spoke to the congressman, I've been speaking to the senators, I've been speaking to the federal de delegation. I mean, we could declare that, but to, to look, we, that's the people that are still waiting to get their houses fixed to Sandy, right? They, they still ain't get all, all that stuff is not done yet. We, I mean, we are not sure uh, what this would have turned out to be. So, I mean, why put ourselves in that situation and not even get the benefit of it at the same time? Where does the testing stand right now of, of the water at the, the treatment plants and so forth and in people's homes? Where does, where does all of that stand? Well, it's two types of tests that, that, that happen. There's ongoing tests always about the, the lead in the water. That's ongoing. We test that, I think, maybe two or three times a year. Um, they test the, the, the source, they test the mains, and they test homes. Uh, to see if we, are, if we have any exceedances uh, given the lead and copper rule. Then we're testing the filters. So right now, uh, they have to test uh, upwards to about 200 of these filters. That's the preliminary test, whatever the findings come back. And we expect that to be back probably in the first week of September. So when, when those findings come back, it'll d the EPA and the DP, D NJDP will determine if that's sufficient uh, or if they think we should make do more tests, in fact. So... Do you think that the filters are faulty at this point? Any information that the filters themselves may be faulty? or, or We, we don't it? have any informa information that tells us that, right? Uh, you know, we, we don't know. I mean, I think that the tests are happening uh, now, and, and we will know very shortly. But even if, even if the, the folks come back and say the filters are good, not, and I believe that, you know, in my heart of hearts, you know, I'm praying that that's what happens, uh, there's uh, so much doubt, right? that's been created by all of this stuff that's been going right. on. It's just a lot of doubt. And so, which made, made it, uh, it made me think in my mind, we have to expedite this lead service replacement uh, process because, I mean, it's just too much doubt have been created right now. What we're getting ready to do because of this new um, money we have, we're getting ready to put together teams to aggressively go out to all 18,000 homes and get people to put their signature on a piece of paper so we could take care of everybody uh, who has a lead service line, make sure we get, get their signature so we can get in there and fix it. And these are the people who actually own their homes. But we're going to go to the folks that are renting as well and try to get uh, information on their landlord even before we pass the law. And in that process, we're going to drop off some water too, right? So uh, really what we want to do is get the signature so we can begin getting in these houses and do this stuff really fast. Uh, but we're going to drop off some water while we while we're there. And we're going to ask for volunteers in the city to help us put together a team of folks to get to 18,000 homes fairly quickly. How soon will you go out to start doing those kind of, soliciting those kind of signatures? This week.